guys, welcome back to my channel. Ah, I'm so excited because today I'm doing my October TBR. Now you guys know I'm not a TBR girly. I can't stick to anything. I'm chaotic. I'm indecisive. And I can't ever decide on anything ever. Um, and I never know what I'm going to read from month to month because I try to come up with like a loose TBR each month and it just never works out. I'm always like cheating on my TBR. I don't know. I just can't stick to anything. I'm just too chaotic. Um, but I wanted to come up with a TBR for October that I really closely want to stick to. I'm trying to read all horror all month and pretty much like all backlisted horror because I have so many like backlisted horror books that I still have to go through so I really want to try to like knock down my TBR that like books that I've had on my TBR for forever I want to try to knock it down in October and um, read nothing but like spooky horror books because October is my favorite month it's also my birthday month so I'm just gonna read whatever the fuck I feel like reading and um, hopefully it's these books. <laughs> so I have, I think I have 14 or so books um, picked out or 15. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to all of these, but I want to try to stick to this as closely as I can and maybe leave some wiggle room for like an, a different book or two that I want to throw in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and let you know what I plan on reading. First off, um, for my vlog for October, I obviously want to do a horror vlog and I think I'm going to do a backlisted horror book video, like reading backlisted classics is what I'm trying to say. Um, books that like everyone has read that I have not read that have been sitting on my shelf forever. I really would like to get to them. And I'm thinking for the vlog, I want to do The Exorcist by uh, William Peter Blady, of course, based off of the movie or not based the movies based off of the book. But I actually hear that the movie or I am like losing my damn mind. I actually hear that the book is better than the movie and the movie is like one of my all-time faves so I've really been wanting to read this and just haven't gotten around to it so I feel like reading vlogs are like the thing that really pushed me to stick to my TBR and actually go through with reading the books that are on my shelves so I really would love to read The Exorcist for that video and then also Psycho by Robert Bloch. Um, of course, the movie based off of this book, iconic. Um, what year did this come out? 1959, all right. So this is a little shorty. It's kind of like a novella. It's like 170 pages. I would love to read this, um, Psycho was like my favorite movie as a child. I'm like that weird kid that just like grew up watching horror movies when I was like a little fetus. <laughs> and um, my dad and I used to watch Psycho all the time together. And then of course like Bates Motel came out. I was obsessed with that show. So I would really love to read the book that inspired all of this. Then I have Rosemary's Baby, another classic. Uh, one of my all time favorite movies never read the book yeah these are all like super old classics and i just think it would be so much fun to just read my favorite movies in book form for a video i've heard nothing but great things about this one like i have not heard a single bad review from anyone so super super excited to read this one and then I really, really would love to read this one because it's stunning and it's been just sitting on display on my shelf. And uh, there's no other month that is more perfect to read this book than October. And it is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I, of course, have this like super cute colorful edition. Um, I've really been wanting to read Frankenstein for forever and I just never have. Uh, but now I have this gorgeous book that's been on display and I cannot wait to read this 
So I feel like that vlog will just give me the perfect opportunity to read those books. Let me know if you just want me to read those four or I can also throw in, I also have I Am Legend or I have Interview with a Vampire. Um, let me know if you want me to add either one of those onto that vlog because I totally can. I can shift things around a little bit and um, make sure I read all those for you. Let me know which ones you would love to see in a vlog. Um, but those are two more classics that I have not read. I know I definitely want to read these four, but just let me know your opinions because I can totally add like a fifth one in there if you want me to. Next, I would love to read some Stephen King in October. So I have Creepshow, the graphic novel, um, you know, based off of the film from like the 80s. This came out in 1982 and it's just like a collection of short stories. So I would love to read that. And then also I would love to reread Salem's Lot. Now this is a chunky boy, 700 pages. I don't know, I might be overly ambitious, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, this one, of course, Salem's Lot, it's a vampire story. I read this in college, absolutely loved it. Don't remember a single thing about it. So that's why I really would love to do a reread. I also have the audio for this one. I own the audio, I've owned it since college. So, um, I might be able to get through this one with the audiobook, but yeah, I would just love to reread this one because I remember being obsessed. Then another book that has been on my TBR for literally forever, I've owned this book for like over a year now, it's No One Gets Out Alive by Adam Neville. Um, I Adam Neville has been on my TBR for forever, I've never read a book by him, and I would love to get to this one in October. This is one that I definitely would like to read before the end of the year. It's another chunky one though, it's 620 pages, but this is about a haunted house. A lot of people say that this is like really scary and disturbing, which I'm not scared or disturbed by anything, especially paranormal stuff. So. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, but I hear nothing but great things, so I would just love to check this one out and just kind of see what all the hype is about. Next, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to this book in September or not because I have a lot on my plate for September while I'm filming this, um, but the new Rachel Harrison book comes out in October, Such Sharp Teeth. Uh, this is an ARC copy that I found. But this is a werewolf novel. I've never read a Rachel Harrison before and I would love to try some of her books out. So um, yeah, either I will read this in September or uh, if I don't get to it, I will read it in October. Um, but yeah, I would just love to check this one out. And I hear a lot of good things about um, her other book, Cackle, which is like a witchy book which I would love to read, but this is the one that I own. So I will definitely be getting to this one soon. And then another book that I've owned for like a year and have never read, and it is my goal to read this before the end of the year, and I would love to get to it in October, is Slewfoot by Brahm. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. I cannot wait to read this. I've kind of been saving it for October because I just, I, I hear nothing but amazing things. To be completely honest, I'm not even 100% sure what this one is about, because every time I see someone talking about it, I just kind of tune it out because I want to go into it blind. Um, but yeah, I mean, it has some beautiful artwork, of course. Brahm is just amazing. So it has some you know, beautiful artwork in here. I think it's kind of like a pagan witchery. I honestly have no idea, but I hear that this um, girl in here, what's her name, Abatha, is just like a badass. I don't know, is this Abatha? I guess I'm gonna find out in October. Then I might get to some Goosebumps books this month. I have a couple in here. I don't know, I might read one or two. Let's see what's in here. I have Welcome to Dead House, um, One Day in Horrorland, The Haunted Mask, 
Night of the Living Dummy. And then I have Say Cheese and Die. That's what's in this tin. I might fuck around, you know? I might fuck around and find out. <laughs> I might read one or two of these. And then I also have a couple books on Kindle Unlimited that I would like to knock out of my TBR because my Kindle Unlimited books, I have the max checked out. <laughs> so I'd like to get through some of those. Um, first of all, I wanna read an extreme horror. Um, I'm thinking probably John Athen. I have a bunch of his books downloaded on Kindle Unlimited. I don't know which one I wanna read first. He has a new one out called like The, the President's Son or something. Um, there's Dead Body Disposal, The Girl in the Attic. Um, what's that other one that I have downloaded? Am I Beautiful? I think I have downloaded. I have a couple of his that I would like to get through. So I'm thinking I'll probably read at least one because I want to read some kind of extreme horror. I might finally read The Hellbound Heart by um, Clive Barker. Of course, this is the novella that sparked the Hellraiser movies. Um, he's kind of the mastermind behind all of that. So this book, um, is following Pinhead and his goons. <laughs> is that what they're called? Uh, they're not Cenobites, they're goons, thank you very much. I also have um, Halloween Fiend by C.V. Hunt downloaded. This one is about this creature called Halloween who like haunts the town and asks for like offerings every night. Uh, it's a short novella, it's about like 115 pages. So I always hear a lot of things about this one and people always recommend to read it in October. Ooh, The Exorcist House by Nick Roberts. I hear great things about this one. So this one, um, it's about 286 pages. This one is about this family who moves to a new house and they discover there's a hidden room in the basement. So it says it's boarded shut and like full of crucifixes. And it says local legends about the previous owner being an exorcist come to light and by then all hell has broken loose. I hear great things about this one. It says for fans of the exorcist and a head full of ghosts. Love that. I would love to finally read Camp Slaughter by Sergio Gomez. This has been on my TBR for over a year now. I really need to just knock some of these books out. This is another kind of short one. It says 284 pages. Um, this one is just like a typical slasher, I believe. Um, it's like a bunch of college kids rent this um, cabin out in the middle of the woods. And I think there's like a cannibal in the woods. Love that, I don't know. And then last but not least, another one that I've had on my Kindle for literally forever is Pen Pal by Dathan Auerbach. Um, this one I hear nothing but great things about, 252 pages. I really don't know anything about this one. The description is super vague. It's about like someone trying to uncover childhood memories. I hear it's disturbing. I hear it's depressing. I mean, those are two things that I love, so I can't wait to read this one. Yeah, that is my October TBR. I'm so excited. All of these literally feel like a five-star read to me. Like, all of these sound so good. I'm so excited. It's my birthday month. I'm just so excited to, like, finally read some really good books, and I just can't wait. I can't wait. It's my favorite month gotta be some of my favorite books in here, you know? Let me know if you read any of these books, how you liked them, and what you plan on reading in October, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!